And you know what? This show today is going to be entirely different. It's just us girls, and we're going to be talking to you uh, things about the Lord, but yeah. things that's happened in our lives that might encourage you in case you go through a certain crisis. That you might pick up a scripture between all of us that might come to you that day, and you say, oh, yeah, I remember that scripture, Lord, yeah. and I want you to, to do that for me. And you know what? I think that's what we're all about. Is it not, Rebecca yeah. and, and Sandra? These are my co-hosts. Y'all know me. <laughs> this is the wonderful me. Sherry Tatum. Yes, and Sherry. Rebecca, we're so happy you're here yes. with us today. Is, is Rebecca our co-host today? Yes, yes, I think she is. But you and know what? So I'm just here. hanging out. That's, that's right. all. And we got to go to break already. I know. So is that it? Oh I know. That was so quick. Yeah. But take, we'll take a moment, we'll come, come back. back, because we're going to have some girl talk here in a minute. <laughs> You'll love it. You'll love it. <laughs> And welcome back to Friends and Neighbors. You know, we're going to have a different type of show, like you yes. mentioned. And you mm -hmm. have a wonderful poem you want to share with us first. Uh, yes, I do. Uh, oh, you know what? We always need an encouraging word. And you know what? There's a lot of times, Rebecca and Sandra, that we don't get it right. No. Uh, we, are, we are the not-so-perfect no. uh, women. <laughs> yeah. We try uh, our best to do our best for the Lord and, and to treat others right, like the Lord said, and do things good and honestly but sometimes we, we fall fail short. we fail and this is a little poem yeah. i want to read to you so <laughs> all right get, Shay, back. Ready to hear the poem. <laughs> get ready rebecca did you write this no oh, okay. i wish i had okay. make sure you get credit where credit is yeah. due <laughs> it's called the brush and listen to this it says life started out like a canvas god started painting on me i took the paintbrush from jesus and painted what I wished to see. The colors I painted keep running, and the objects were all out of size. I had made a mess of my painting. My way now seemed so unwise. So I brought my painting to Jesus, all the colors, all the pieces so wrong. In the market of earth, it was worthless, but his blood made my painting belong. He worked with no condemnation, Never mentioned the mess I had made. Mm. Then he dipped his brush into the rainbow and he signed it. The price has been paid. When I gave the brush back to Jesus, when I gave the brush back to him, he started over life's canvas to fill. When I gave to Jesus the brush of my will. Oh, that's beautiful. my will. Powerful. Isn't that beautiful? It is. Yes. Well, because we all have our will, don't we, Rebecca? Oh, uh, yeah. And we all want our will, yeah. and it's not our will, but His be done. Amen. Amen. I so relate to the mess, you know, that the that the author of that referred to, yeah. the mess, you know, you feel like you make of your life. life and yeah. I've been there. And it made so many wrong mm. uh, decisions thinking I was doing the right decisions. Yeah. Mm. And this little poem was anonymous. There is no no oh, author. Wow. But whoever it was knew knew what it mm -hmm. was to fail. It's beautiful. To do what they wanted to do, but to get back to yeah. the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's so oh, important. Good. It's yes. so important to to embrace the failure. Mm. And it's hard, you know, that's something yeah. that I'm recently teaching my 12 year old is yeah. let's just embrace the failure we don't have to be perfect so we can't be perfect the only Amen. perfecter is jesus christ but yeah. god girls it's so hard to yes. just sit there i should have could have would have if i thought this yes. and i would have yes. done that. that but you know mm -hmm. it's that 
point that I say, we have to just lay it down at the feet mm -hmm. and exercise that. I've started some exercising just to say, okay, if this is what we did, we forgot to do this mm -hmm. and you're just kicking yourself because I, I should have remembered, I yeah. should have done this. <laughs> you, you know, I've, I've gotten some like, like yes. props per se, you know, yeah. um, to kind of forgive yourself with it. One is you put everything in a box Mm -hmm. And then you just write what I did wrong, what I what I'm feeling. You put it in a box, and then you just put the box in the water and just let it all go, let it go, let it go. Mm -hmm. Just a visual exercise because it's yeah. so hard. Mm -hmm. It's but, so hard to. But we as women hold ourselves, I think, so so strongly mm -hmm. to being that perfect person, the perfect mother, uh, the perfect wife, the perfect daughter. The per you know yeah. We, we, yeah. we we just try. Not so hard happen. and no. we focus <laughs> on the on mm. that instead of God. Yeah. Or the encouragement yeah. of each yeah. other, right, Rebecca? Yeah. Like getting friends yeah. that are able to say, you know, Sandra, that yeah. it happened to me too. Yeah, yeah. I I went through that. Yeah. Because God loves you anyway. Exactly. Yeah. It's not mm -hmm. it's not a big deal. Stop making it. And I now, think that when we compare but, to each yeah, other all the time, that you yeah, yeah. We, and we do that. But all listen, yeah. you still can't. I'm not giving anybody uh, like, say, okay, yeah. just do whatever you want to and live however you want to and God's there and he loves you, blah, blah, blah. No, no we no. are to do the best we know how. Right. We yeah. are to read the Bible. Mm -hmm. We are to love one another. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're to know scripture. We're supposed to put it in action. Love is a, is a verb. It's yeah. an action word. You, right. you have to put it in action. But if you do fail, what did Jesus say? Mm -hmm. uh, the disciple asked him, he said, how many times a day are we to give? Seven times, 70, mm -hmm. you know, seven times a day. He's, Jesus said, no, 70 mm -hmm. times seven. That's 490 times a day. God mm -hmm. will forgive and God will restore. Mm -hmm. But we are to strive to enter in. He said, do the best that you, that you know to do that's in the word of God. Mm -hmm. It all comes with a blessing. Right. Yeah. It's, uh, he's already paid the price for us, that's but right. because he did, that's why we love him. That's right. It's why we want to do right. It's why we don't want to fail. I don't want to fail him. Yeah. I don't want to be one of the five foolish virgins that, you know, lost their oil, lost their way. But I, I, if I do, mm -hmm. I have an advocate with the Father, Paul that's said, right. whereby I cry, Abba, Father. Yeah, Abba, right. Father. He's mm -hmm. still my Daddy Father. Mm -hmm. He still loves us, Rebecca. That's right. You know, yeah. and it, it's it's like a lot of times I don't have enough to give and mm -hmm. I feel badly about that. Yeah. But you know, when Jesus, they were, they were in the desert and the 5,000 were there and I think it was Andrew, he came and he said, you know, we don't have enough. I was just reading that last people. night. We yes. Don't, we don't have enough. Mm -hmm. And and uh, Philip said, well, yeah, if, if, well, I think it was Philip. He said, no, he said, we don't have enough to give. That's right. Sometimes I feel like that. I don't have enough mm -hmm. to give mm -hmm. to help everybody. But, and then I think, and you don't, yeah. but God does. That's right. He give meets you right God's where you are. It. God's yes. got it if we could ever realize that and yeah. let him do it yeah. instead of us thinking, oh, no, I've got to do that. That's I've got right. to fix that. I've got to go over here. I've got to look like that. I've got to lose weight. I've got to give away these wrong for kids. Blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's impossible That's sometimes, right. Rebecca. Yeah. Yeah. We're one person. Mm -hmm. How is one person? You can't do it all. That's no, you right. can't. And, yeah. and that's what we were just talking about, too. We were talking about being aware being aware of the yeah. presence of God. Right. Because when you start getting all this information from other sources, mm -hmm. that's when all of the anxiety and all mm -hmm. of the, I, I don't have enough to give and what's gonna happen here. Yeah. But when you sit mm -hmm. at the feet of Jesus, yeah, yeah. however that looks like, it could be in the carpool lane, at the gym, <laughs> it could yeah. be you know at home, yeah, it could be late, you wherever, get but get you on. are in his presence, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he, will fill your heart That's with right. peace that surpasses all understanding. understanding. And not only that, but you were mentioning about how, Rebecca, how God kind of led you through mm -hmm. some moments that were just like, that's totally God. Yeah. 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 To share with us a little bit about that. Yeah. yeah, you know, sometimes we think things are consequences in right. our life. Yeah. But then when you take account of those things, my mom always says she's going to write a book, What Are the Odds? Mm. What Are the Odds? Uh, mm -hmm. And it's not the odds. It's not, 
a consequence. It is, you know, the divine orchestration of the Holy Spirit yes, to yes. allow things to happen in a way that remind us that He is sovereign. He mm -hmm. is God. That He's he in has control. Enough. Mm -hmm. That's right. And He has enough. Uh, and because yeah. He has enough, we're enough. Uh, yes. And I think about, um, I was telling you guys that my uh, second grandbaby was recently born on my father's birthday, mm -hmm. 819. And um, what a miracle that was. He was not due for three weeks. And to oh. be born on my father's birthday, who just went to be with the Lord, it was such a comfort to us, yes. an amazing yes. sequence of events. Yes. And I wanted a name for him from my son and daughter-in-law so I could be praying for him. You know how you want a name. Yeah. And they, they wouldn't give me the name. They didn't know the name yet. Yeah. They were praying about it. Yeah. Yeah. And so I had a dream about a little bear, a little black bear who was laying on our ottoman in our family room. And my other grand, John Davis, went up to him and grabbed his little head. And I said, oh, no, no, don't grab his head. It's a little bear. He'll wake up. And when he woke up, he was a baby. Mm -hmm. And I saw his oh face. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my and goodness. And I said, oh. what was that, Lord, when I woke up? And right. he said, that was your grand. And I said, well, what did that mean? And he said that your name for him is going to be Bear. Oh. Bear Keener. Oh. So when he's on the football field, I'm going to be yelling, Go Bear, Bear Keener. Go Bear <laughs> Rebecca, that but, is so powerful. So I asked my son later, I told yeah. him that story, and he said, well, that's very interesting. He said, the name we've been praying about is Theodore. Oh. And Theodore, <laughs> short for Theodore, is Teddy. Oh, my oh, goodness. I love oh. that. Is that oh, is so good. Holy that is. Yes. But that is. Yes. And I have oh, He's my little bear. Oh, Y'all oh, got oh, to see him. Oh. He is oh. the cutest thing. Oh. Well, thank oh. you for sharing that story, because yeah. Sherry and I were just yeah. talking about, you know, those... Uh, God, God fingerprints. There's yeah. those fingerprints. A couple yeah. of years mm -hmm. back, um, my mother-in-law got very, very sick, extremely sick, and my husband was traveling up to New Jersey almost every other week, just taking care of her. And it was one of those roller coaster rides of sickness that she did really well, and we're like, great, she's stable. But then she would come down a little bit. By the third week, he came home and he said, you know. Mama's doing great. She's gonna she's gonna kick this out. This is gonna be wonderful. Yeah. She's mm. already gone. Two days later, we get a call that she did not do well, mm. and that this just it, it wasn't gonna be great. So yeah. he went back up north, um, and Eliana and I had been talking about it. And as of my mother's prayer to Eliana, I kept saying, God, how am I going to let her know that? This is her first major death mm. in the family, that her Nana is not going to be with us. Significant. Yeah, Significant. And I said, how am I going to prepare her? She understands we're going to heaven. She understands. But you, you're never truly prepared when yeah. someone dies. And at that point, she was, she was 10. She had just turned 10. So I had been praying. The day... One Thursday morning when we were leaving to go to, to, to school, I was driving her super early in the morning. And Eliana never talks about you know, her dreams. But she said, Mom, I have to tell you something. I had the really, I had a real sweet dream about Nana last night. I said, wow, tell me about it. She goes, Nana was, um, Nana and I just were in a train and we were, we were um, going somewhere and we were baking and we were singing and we were doing all these wonderful things that she and Nana. Oh. And I kept saying, okay, well, who, who else was in the train? And she goes, you and daddy were in the train, Vovo and Poppy, which are my parents, were in the train. And I said, but then at one point she goes, um, you and I and daddy had to leave and Vovo and Poppy had to leave. I said, we left, where did we go? She goes, I don't know, we just got out of the train. Oh, and I said, what about Nana? She goes, Nana stayed on the train and she said, I love you. Oh, wow. Oh, you oh, guys, oh, that was that morning. So she had to go to her choir practice at 7.15 in the morning. And I oh. happened to be volunteering that day. And Errol was up there with Nana, with yeah. his mom. When we got into her choir room, they started practicing. Errol texted me and said, Nana just went to be with the Lord. Oh wow. That oh. moment, that day, God had prepared her oh and had God. already answered my prayer to say, Sandra, oh. you, didn't even ha you didn't even have to tell your daughter. Whoa. I prepared. So we you had this it. amazing conversation of saying, 
Eliana, she's she's in heaven. Mm. She oh, she wow. she gave you closure, and not only Amazing. not Nana, mm. but God Himself he comforted her, that's comforted so her to that's say, because yes. we would have never. Oh, that's our God. That you know? is but that beautiful. God is yeah. amazing. Well, but if we weren't aware of it, if yeah. we weren't aware of believing Him. Yes. Believing that he will go ahead and prepare the way. Yes. You know, we would That's have missed so powerful. That. Right? You know, those little yes. moments in God encounters just yeah. give us hope, don't they? Yes. I mean, they give you hope and strength to keep yes. going yeah. in yeah. life, in the imperfect world. And yeah. as we yeah. feel like we're not enough and not yeah. perfect, right. then God comes in with these little divine yeah. moments and yeah. you think, okay, you got it. All. <laughs> and you know, got and, it. And you that's so cool. And it strengthens yeah. our, our faith. Yeah. And mm -hmm. for someone who's so, you know, Eliana accepted Christ about four years ago and I got that moment to say Eliana that is your God mm -hmm. that is your God that is my God, God yes. that seeks you it's I always say he's a couture God he makes Ooh, us good. he's our couture he knows everything Love about that. us mm -hmm. and he makes us perfectly yes absolutely you know, throughout our lives so absolutely. the power power of of his Holy Spirit. Amen. Absolutely. He knits us yeah. together. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. How long have we got before break? Because I got a good story. We got two oh, minutes, Sherry. Two minutes. I can't tell <laughs> it. Two minutes. I'm sorry. But when, after the break, yeah. for girls that are um, thinking you'll never find a mate, mm. you'll never get married, mm. uh, you know, and you feel like you're the last one of all the friends and oh, everyone's on married, you know? Speak, uh -huh. yes. You know how Same. you feel like that? Like, oh, yeah, I'm the only one. Right. Or you're going to every um, <laughs> pregnancy, yeah. a shower, and shower, you're like, when am I going to? And, and, and you're always a bride bride made, made, yeah. and never the bride. Yeah. And you're panicking totally. Yeah. Uh, I have a story for you. All right. And it's going to just love it. You're going to love it. So stay with us. We're going to come right back, and I'm going to tell my story because y'all told yours, and I know. <laughs> I know. Well, tell it. Tell it. I know. And so I take a little you. coffee break or a tea yeah. break, and come back and hear yeah. Sherry's story. Go so get good. your tomato sandwich. Oh, a tomato oh, sandwich. Oh, right. <laughs> I just loved it so I wish we could do this more often. I could oh. be like, when I was five, <laughs> and then when I was five and a half. <laughs> Tell y'all all, all the good stuff. But anyway, okay. Uh, I, my husband, uh, my first husband left me for our secretary. I was saying. Wow, okay, I, let's oh, start oh, that. Adam. That's like a <laughs> big bomb. I'm telling you this, this y'all got to like, hear it. Wait a second. This happens. I didn't hear the story. You know, I'm okay. interested. And so, um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> left us with a bunch of debt and all kind of stuff. Anyway, that's a whole different story. A lot of miracles there. Y'all wouldn't believe it, but you would if I told you about it. So anyway, anyway, one night I, I said, I, I, I didn't get out of the bed. I slid out of the bed on my face, snot, crying, bawling, everything. And I, and I got up and I said, on my knees, and I said, Lord, mm. I said, you know what a childhood I had, terrible childhood, and I never had a father, uh, really, if I had a lot of stepfathers. And I said, uh, I would like, I don't, I would like to be married again if you want me to be married again. Uh, I said, but I want, the man that I want would have to love you mm. more than anything in this world, more than money, more than me, more than kids. He would have to be sold out to yeah. you. That's all I ask is that he loves you more than anything. And I said, I don't want like a husband. I said, I've had a husband. Didn't work. I said, I want the mate mm. that you prepared for me yeah. before the foundations of the world. Mm. I said, I I don't want to choose him. Right. You choose him for me. You send me my mate if you want that, if that's your will for me. If not, then you will help me to live in this little house the rest of my life and everything will be okay because you'll be my ishi, my husband. Mm -hmm. That's that that's mm -hmm. that's a word, ishi. And I got up off the floor, like I said, snot, tears, everything. I'd been down on the floor for an hour prostrate, mm -hmm. crying out to the Lord with all my heart. And at that time, I left my Bible on the bed at all times. And I don't believe in Bible roulette, per se, where you just open the Bible and say, uh, that's for me. But 
the Lord said, anything mm -hmm. you read out of my word is good. Mm -hmm. So I opened my Bible, and I promise you, I never knew it was in there. I have read the whole Bible. I did not know this scripture was in there. And today, I know it's in Isaiah. And I think God doesn't let me remember it purposely so that people say, oh, yeah, you knew that was there. You're just, no, 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 no. I did not know this verse was there. And my eyes did not go up to this verse or this verse. It went straight to this verse mm. out of thousands of verses in the Bible. Yeah. God is my witness. This is what it said. It said, seek ye out of the book and mm. read and know this, that none shall want for her mate. Mm. Didn't say husband, spouse, nothing. It said mate. Wow. Mm. And that's what I had asked for was mm. a mate. That's so powerful. The mm. one he wanted me to have. Right. Then there wouldn't be divorce. Because right. I came from a divorce family yeah. many times. Right. Wouldn't be divorce. Mm. So months later, I wrote that down in my Bible. And months later, I went to a revival with Bonhart Brunke. Plunkies, I think it's how you say it. Yeah. And Misty didn't, uh, she said, Mom, let's go back and meet the, uh, the missionaries. There's like 3,000 people there. I said, no, I've got all my stilettos. I've been working, I worked <laughs> for their uh, Secretary of State, Max Cleland. Then I'd been at the Capitol mm -hmm. all day. I said, I'm tired. Oh, we're going home. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mom, please, please, please. Well, I knew what she wanted to do. She wanted to go back there and find her friends and, you know, be with them. I said, 10 minutes. You got 10 minutes. So we went back there, it's bumper to bumper uh, people. And finally, I found her, and I said, come on, Misty, come on. Well, she's looking, and she's walking. She's trying to find someone. Yeah. And so she walks up to me. She said, Mom, there's Roy Tatum. Let's go say hi. Oh. I thought, how do you know Roy Tatum? How do you know? Years, we discussed that forever. We do not know how she knew him. And so I said, I was so taken aback, Rebecca. I yeah. said, okay. Okay, we'll go say hi. Well, I walked up. He was here. He's back. I'm walking up to his back, and I walk around. He's six foot three and something. Big dude, played football and all that. Y'all know that. And I looked up at him, and I said the dumbest thing you could ever say in your whole life. Because uh, he was gray. He was I want a mate. He was. <laughs> I, I should hate. I should hate. Oh, uh, he was gray. He was a gray color. And I looked at him and I said, Roy, where have you been for four years? Because we used to go to the same church years, four years ago. He said, well, he said, we went to a different church. Uh, Annette and I went to another church. And I said, oh, okay. And I said, well, what's wrong with you? I hadn't seen somebody in four years. You say, what's wrong with you? <laughs> just and he <laughs> said, yeah, just, 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 just what's wrong? Y'all know how I talk. <laughs> and he said, uh, well, uh, uh, he said, we went to a different church, and he said, I'll be divorced in about two weeks. I said, oh, not you too. Uh, he said, are you mm. divorced? I said, uh, yes, yes, mm. I, I've been divorced about a year. He said, well, you have lunch with me and tell me how I'm going to get through this. Mm. I said, you think you're going to die. Mm -hmm. You'll think you're going to die, yeah. but you won't. And I mm -hmm. said, Roy, I have no idea. How to... mm -hmm. I said, but I'll try if you, as a friend, because we had made movies together, commercials yeah. together, and uh, I'd seen him on auditions, and he'd seen me, and we knew each other, but hadn't seen each other in four years. And so we met. He called two weeks later. He said, will you meet me at the Olive Garden, and we'll have lunch or dinner or whatever. We had dinner. We closed the place. Well, two about, and so he asked me out again, asked me out again. Well, th about four months later, only God and I knew this. I said, God, if I ever, before I met him, mm -hmm. if I ever have a ring, I want a ring that has a row of diamonds because he's the light of the world and a row of rubies to represent the blood of Christ. We were coming out of church. He said, sweet cheeks. He said, if you had a ring, what would you want? I said, I would want a ring with a row of diamonds, for he's the light of the world. And he said, a row of rubies, because the blood of Christ. Oh, my what? goodness. Nobody knew that. Oh, wow. he, yes. said, he said, come on, I'm taking you. Went to a jeweler. He said, bring that ring out for me. Oh, my. Bro, I've got it. I've got the ring. Row of rubies and a row of diamonds. Oh, and the Lord said, this is your mate. Oh, and we got married. And we were I know. That's the Lord. We were married 32 years. Wow. But y'all know he died last November. Yeah. But that's God. Girls don't yeah. give up on God. That's right. God's got a mate for you. That's right. Yeah, that's right. 
God's go, don't give up. Wow. You keep praying. You keep believing. You quote God's word back to him. Quote scripture yes. to him. Let him know what you would like to have. That's but right. that your not your will, desire. but yes. his will be done. And God That's will right. turn up this earth upside down. Yes, he for will. You yes, because he, will. he loves you. The work's oh, done. Mm -hmm. the work was done on Calvary. Yes. Mm -hmm. The word, the promises of God are yes and amen. Mm -hmm. so and he loves all of us. Yes, he does. He loves us. Yes, he does. He knows us. He knows what we need. Yeah. And if you call on him with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, love him like that, God will move for you and God will prepare the way. He will. So I believe that. So and good. in your entire life, like yeah. he prepared yes. the way for you, yeah. prepared the way yes. for me, yeah. and Amen. prepared the way for our family. Yeah. God Absolutely. can do that for Ooh, you. And God, it's just man. Getting Crazy. close to him, yes. getting close to him. And I think oh, I have been so encouraged by this conversation. Yes. Yeah. Interestingly, we hadn't talked about yeah. what exactly oh, we were going to talk about. And it gives us beauty for action. Yes, yes. he does. Beauty you know, you had action. said that on another one of your programs. Yeah. You were quoting that verse in Isaiah, mm -hmm. how he gives us. And that's what he gave you. Yes. Yes. That's what he gave me. Absolutely. Yes. Beauty that's for action. Absolutely. That's what he does. He's yes. the giver. Yes. He's the blesser. Mm -hmm. He is the Lord God, and beside him I know not one, no other God. There's no other God. No, but, but, and Jesus is our Savior. Mm -hmm. He's the one that loves us enough to that he gave his life for us. Yes, he did. Turn to him. Ask him for what you need. That's He'll meet right. you That's right. at your point of need, right? Yes. Thank mm -hmm. you for joining us on this girl talk. <laughs> I hope it was encouraging to you, yes. and we look forward to oh. seeing you next yeah. time on the Friends and Neighbors show. Amen. Bye. I love Take care. I love, love you guys. Love you. Love you.